And I will share this information about Synology by way of a cool stuff found because uh, I dug into this with Synology. And, and what I'm talking about, this is what came up in the last episode where Synology's 2025 units and only, well, 2025 and presumably later, but nothing earlier, only their new 2025 units are brand locked currently to Synology drives. Uh, Synology branded drives. Now that's not entirely correct. They are locked to a list of drives that are approved for use in Synology disk stations and vendors can apply for approval. So it's not always only going to be Synology drives, but as of today, or at least as of, you know, two days ago, when I had this conversation with our friends at Synology, that there were no third party drives yet approved. And so I pointed out an example to them. I said, okay, my current SHR volume has 20, uh, has several 20 terabyte drives in it. If I look at Synology's plus drives, the largest one is 16 terabytes. So what happens if I move this SHR store and you can, whatever you migrate to a 2025 unit is, is grandfathered in. You're totally fine. You, you, you don't have to have, so you could, I could take my drives and move them into a, a 2025 Synology unit and they would work fine. But when I go to add a new one, it has to be on the approved list. And I don't believe I could be wrong, but on quick searching, the Synology plus drives or whatever, the largest one that I could buy from them is a 16 terabyte drive, which means I cannot add storage to my array because my largest drive is a 20 terabyte drive and you have to add drives that are at least equal to that size. And so I asked them, I said, asking for a friend, asking for a Dave, asking for our listeners. <laughs> and they don't have an answer to this question yet. But they're working on it for us. However, listener Rob does have an answer to this question. Yeah, and he yeah, he does. <laughs> he found uh, on GitHub is a thing called Synology HDDDB, which is a way of replacing your Synology's drive database with something that is far less restrictive. And in fact, one that you can edit and put your own drives in and all of these things. And you need to set it up to run at startup so that when you update your Synology uh, operating system, it's going to put the list back out there and you're going to replace the list. It's this game of cat and mouse. And so um, so it's it's out there. There are instructions. They're very clear uh, as to how to do all of this. And this issue, I run into this. Like when I put my tw my first 20 terabyte drive in my Synology, it told me this drive's not on the approved list. Now, the 18 terabyte version of that same drive, the Seagate Exos in this case, was on the approved list, but the 20 terabyte wasn't because it was relatively new. It hadn't been put on the list. Now, there are, there are two different flavors of Synology approved list. There is the one that goes backwards for 2024 and before, and then there's the one 2025 and later that's far more restrictive. But there always has been this list, and this GitHub thing, or this thing that's on GitHub, this Synology HDDDB, is, was really built for the existing, the 2024 and prior units, so that you didn't get these errors when you put your drives in. It's like, no, it's oh. going to be fine. Yeah, and so they, but they do have a, um, uh, a 2025 plus model uh, specific piece of information about this. And, and so there's, there's all kinds of uh, there's, there's information about how this is going to work with the 2025 models and instructions on how to do it. And all of these things, there's a huge page uh, all about this stuff. So, 